hello hello so in this video i'm going to do something that doesn't really relate to auto hockey coding per se uh, but it works a lot like auto hockeys and it's really cool it's known as fast keys this is version number five i think it just came out pretty recently here in 2021 and you know if you're you just want to be lazy or something and kind of really quick do hot strings in a you know environment that doesn't really involve coding this is definitely a program to check out it also has a few other uh, features that i'll show you um, that are pretty cool so when you first download it i'll put the link in the description below with where you can download this from uh, you just set it up real quick you know basic installation uh, run it. Uh, it can be a little bit slow to start. Uh, it can take up to like 30 seconds sometimes on my computer to start up. So I already got it started. So let's take a look at that. Here we go. So when you first come in here, uh, the first thing you see is that text expander. So I've done another video where I talk about using hot strings in auto hotkey. Basically, if you don't know what that is, is you can start typing something and then have it replace that text with something else. So it's very helpful for when you want to type maybe a whole sentence out just by typing three letters or something and then pushing enter. So here's a few examples. Uh, these come already built in, so you can either delete these if you want, replace them, customize them, and obviously add your own. Uh, you can also, you know, kind of just deactivate them if you only want to use them from time to time in certain situations. So that's fine. Uh, so what's a good one here we got? Uh, you know, we got, okay, the first one here is kind regards. So instead of me having to type out the whole word kind regards, I can type KR and then just press enter. So let's go ahead and open a notepad here. Take a look at an example. And if you guys do want to know how to actually do this kind of stuff in auto hotkeys, definitely check out uh, one of my intro videos. I can't remember which number it is, but in the title it does say hot string, so it's pretty easy to find there for you. So yeah, so here what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in KR, and then I'm going to press enter. And as you see, it got rid of that KR and replaced it with the full kind regards. I don't really see myself really using this very much when it comes to maybe, you know, two letter or two word phrases there, but I could see this being used for like at work, you know, I have an email where I'm always typing out like this full sentence. I could just have it assigned to like A1 and then maybe another sentence where I type A2 and then enter and just have it fill out the whole sentence. This is awesome because, I mean, it, it's just a huge time saver there. Now, if you want to add your own, all you got to do is up here, click the little new one. You're going to get a nice big box here. And as you see, you got a lot of typing space there. So uh, let's do one. Pretend I'm doing like an intro to one of my videos for my channel. Just be like, hello, I am Tab Nation. Welcome to my channel. Hope you like it. And watch more. There we go. So a nice long sentence there. Uh, so for the string, you know, that's how I wanted to do. I'm going to do that example I was talking about with uh, A1. Very uh, easy. Obviously, I can add a description. We'll just call it my channel intro. Uh, and then you got a few options here, you know, trigger immediately, uh, case sensitive, uh, manual confirmation, uh, you know, a whole bunch of stuff there. Uh, don't delete string. That's basically how in that last thing where I put uh, KR and it replaced that KR with kind regards. Uh, don't uh, delete the string would leave KR there and then just add kind regards at the end. So there's a lot of different things you can do there. Um, a window, uh, basically that's kind of like in a lot of my videos, you see I'm always talking about like set title match mode. That's basically kind of what this is. Only work in Chrome, only work in Notepad, that sort of thing. Leave it blank if you just want to use it everywhere, obviously. Uh, another cool thing is um, you actually got a few other options up here. Uh, you don't have to make it do text replacement. You can actually have it run something. 
So I could do something that where I just type ch enter. I could just have it automatically launch Chrome for me. Uh, that would be really useful. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, phrase file and some command stuff too that you can play with. Um, a lot of other stuff up here. Uh, you can auto insert date and time. You know, I can put that on there of how I want that to work and what format. Uh, cursor position. Maybe you want the cursor to go back to the beginning of the sentence where you were typing. Uh, key presses. Uh, record. A few other things. I haven't played with all these, but I'm just kind of showing you there so that you know they exist. Uh, the last thing I want to show is uh, under the three little dots here at the end. Uh, you can actually change the formatting. So by default, it's no formatting, meaning it's going to look exactly like it does right now. Just very basic, you know, black text on white background. You can do some HTML or rich text, which is really nice. Uh, rich text basically gives you a lot more options down here, kind of like a simple Word document, where you can just change kind of some stuff. You know, you can change what type of font, you know, the size of it, that kind of stuff. You know, uh, you can underline, uh, you know, a word, and bold it, uh, centering, uh, and then uh, you can also play around with the color of it too. So if you want this text to all be orange or black, you can definitely do that kind of stuff. So we're going to push OK. Uh, you get that little, I don't know if you saw that, but it was really quick, a little loading bar, and that's just saving uh, and loading the thing down here. So there's my new one. So then I can jump over to Notepad, and I can type in A1, Enter, and that did not work. Let's see here real quick. All right, there we go. Let's try that again. A1, there we go. And as you saw, that was pretty fast. Now, since I'm in Notepad, there's not a lot of... Uh, formatting that can really go into this so it just kind of looks like a normal you know as you saw i had cap or a uh, bold it underline stuff like that uh, that's more for like if you're in word uh, or powerpoint that kind of stuff uh, unfortunately i don't have those so i can't really show you that um, but yeah that is that part don't need that all right so i had to adjust my screen there real quick so you can see this next portion here uh, so start menu, uh, you know, it's really cool. It shows you how many items you have in there, just in case you're curious for some reason. Uh, but this is basically kind of like creating your own tray menu. Um, so pretty simple, you know, you got a lot of default stuff here. Obviously, you can add your own. You get basically about the same type of menu there. Um, but let's show a default one here if we go to edit. And so that's just run the website. It's called Google, and no real options that we need. Well, that's okay. But yeah, um, and then you can also uh, add like line breaks just to kind of break up and categorize your uh, menu there. So you go down here to your tray, find the fast key icons, which is like a purple, blue with like kind of like a arrow design inside of it. Uh, you're just gonna right click on that. You got a bunch of op options on here. Uh, one that's useful is pause if you ever just want to pause this real quick without closing the program down. Uh, but open menu, that's going to, as you see, here is all that. So, you know, you got Google, YouTube, Gmail, Fast Keys Form. There's those. And then there's that line break right there that looks really nice and clean. Um, so, yeah, uh, you can also add icons, I believe. I'm not sure where that is. Not sure where that is. Maybe it's under open. Yeah, I think it's getting it from open. Yeah, here you go. So you can have like um, a few different things here. This is a good place to save just because that's where all the pictures are. Yeah, I'm not really sure about that. But you can also add sub menus, which is kind of cool. But for me personally, I don't really have a use for this. I don't like the fact that I have to right click on my tray menu and then click on another menu just to get to this. Uh, you know, I rather do this in auto hockeys personally. But you know, like I said, this is a good place if you just want to quickly make something really quick and have this here. Uh, but this can go to you know a whole bunch of things. 
uh, like there's the sub menus for your system, a few basic uh, programs. It's really cool stuff here you can do here. All right, on to shortcuts. So shortcuts is basically it's a hotkey. Uh, you know, all you're doing is saying when I push, uh, you know, Alt S. Let's do that now. That's just going to auto launch the snipping tool for you. So this is basically just, uh, you know, hotkeys, something you already hopefully know if you're curious about auto hotkeys. Um, so yeah, once again, these are all the defaults that come in here. You can turn them on and off if you want and add your own. Uh, you can also organize them, uh, you know, if you have some reason of why you want to do that. Maybe you want to keep them like alphabetized or something. I really don't know, but it has the option there for you if you want it. And up next, we got autocomplete. So I'll open up another notepad for this one. So autocomplete is kind of like a hot string, basically. Um, so let's use go, uh, Google there. So basically what's going to happen is if I type Google, um, a cool thing is you will see this actually right here. That way you don't have to memorize all the autocomplete commands you got in there. It's going to help you along the way. So it's showing me that, oh, okay, if I finish typing Google, it's going to go to that website right there. So let's go ahead and do that and press enter. And voila, we got Google. Um, but yeah, this is really cool how you got that little menu there that you can see. Uh, obviously, um, Another cool thing, if you didn't see there, I opened Google, and the way I did that is as soon as it recognized, there was a 1 there. So I can press 1 on my keyboard, opens that up for you too. So it makes it even a little faster. Uh, another cool thing is it also just auto-deletes that uh, text that you had there. So that way you can type it anywhere. You can be in a, a chat on Teams or something, and you want to launch from there. You can literally just start in that chat menu, start typing out Google, enter, and it's not going to put any text into that field. It'll delete it afterwards so you don't accidentally message someone <laughs> uh, goo or whatnot later on. So that's really cool. That's very helpful. So the last thing that we got here is gestures. Uh, for some odd reason, I could not get this to work on my computer. Uh, you know, I have a very unique mouse, so I don't know if that's a problem with it or not. Um, but I can still explain it because I understand what's going on here. But basically what you're doing is these are the paths that you can draw using your cursor. So, for example, if I just do down, it's going to minimize the active window. And then you can get pretty fancy with, you know, down, up, down, up. That will launch Microsoft Word. Uh, so... Uh, obviously, if you want to do that, you can uh, record your own. So it's a little different than the other ones, where here you have a record. And you're just going to push record. It's going to give you some instructions on how to draw. And uh, then you just kind of mimic what you want. And then it will uh, save there. Go ahead and cancel that. Um, for some reason, I, I just could not figure out how to get this to actually activate anything. I don't know if it's my mouse. Uh, it's, it's definitely a little bit of a weird one. Uh, if you guys figure out how this works, maybe I'm missing uh, a button on my keyboard I'm supposed to press at the same time that I'm doing this. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments below because you know, this is something I think I could see myself using from time to time for a few basic things. Uh, definitely let me know. I would love to hear and hopefully uh, be able to use this function because it would be great. So yeah, uh, if you guys have any other questions about this, definitely let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm still playing around with this a lot. It's a pretty cool, fun tool. Uh, but, you know, I, I like doing my auto hockey, so for the most part, I'm always going to focus on just doing my actual coding. But this is a great way for people who just want to make something really quickly uh, or just introduced to auto hockeys and need an answer while they're learning. So yeah, definitely know, let me know what you guys think. Definitely hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Smash that little like button there with the thumbs up. It helps me out also. All right, guys. See you next one.